All right, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. So previously on the last episode, we finally made it to the island of the Assassins, and we found out a lot about the Assassins. We finally found out that the Assassins know who the imposter assassin is, in this case being us, Edward Henway. We also found out that James Kidd is also part of the assassins which was a pretty pretty crazy shocking revelation if you will now there was concerns and comments about the last episode in regards james kidd because i asked you guys because we were kind of confused and i still see it in the comments some of you guys think that james kidd is a is a young boy or a young man and then some say it's a woman and it turns out that james kidd is in fact a woman so and it's based in a true story during the gold age of piracy James Kidd or Mary Reed was her real name. Disguised herself as a male, I guess to be accepted in the world of pirates. I didn't look too much into it because I know if you look too much into things when it comes to this game or any game, you're going to get spoiled. But the fact is that James Kidd is in fact a female that actually existed by the real name of Mary Reed. And uh, I don't know. I thought that was really cool, really interesting. And again... She was one of the most famous pirates in the golden age of piracy, which is really fucking cool. You know, I read one of the comments on, on some of the previous episodes that uh, the Jackdaw ship, our ship here, is the same ship that Connor has. And that you guys actually said that it's actually a different ship. Um, so thanks for clarifying that. I only read a comment and I thought it was real and I thought it was pretty cool. But uh, it turns out that was not the... F okay, I just almost... <laughs> It turns out that that was not the reality of things. It turns out that this ship is completely different than Connor's. But anyways, we are starting off an all-new sequence, so I'm super excited. We are back somewhere. I don't even know where we're at right now. Like, I know we're in the ocean, but uh, you know what? Let's, let's just go, okay? <laughs> Enough talking. Let's just get down to business. As they say, time is money. And, um... I think we're supposed to head to... Let me go to the map. We might have to fast travel Travel here. A lot of you guys were telling me to upgrade the ship as much as possible. And trust me, I'm with you. You know, I'm trying to do that. But I don't think we have enough uh, resources at the moment. So we're going to fast travel here. Um, can I fast travel somewhere? Hmm. Okay, that's fine. So this is the new Libertalia, eh? Stinks the same as every other squat I've robbed this past year. Oi, oi. Why the long face? You've fallen in love? With your <laughs> blouse. You're welcome to Nassau, gents. Everyone is that does their fair share. Fair share? What is this, a fucking monastery? We was uh, led to believe that Nassau was a place where men did as they pleased. Safe keeping others from doing the same. Aye. Captain Thatch, as I live and breathe. What is this magnificent muzzle you cultivate in? Why fly a black flag on a black beard will do? <laughs> what brings you two gents this far north? The word is, Cuban governor himself is fixing to receive a mess of gold from a nearby fort. Until then, it's just sitting there, itching to be took. Governor Torres himself, eh? Sounds promising. Welcome to Nassau, Captain Vane. Mr. Rackham. Uh, 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 now, uh, where can a man find a bit of rough? Do you know what I mean? All right, guys. Here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and give my two cents. Uh, I'm not a big fan of those two guys. Just not a fan of them boys. They seem uh, they seem a bit arrogant. I'm going to get this chest here. I mean, hey, listen. Hopefully, I'm wrong, right? I don't want any trouble at the end of the day. I, I just want peace and uh, lots of money. <laughs> Uh, so it looks like we have to go back to the ship now, but before we do I wanted to see if uh, we can knock off a couple of uh, sink points here Or at least one every time I come back. I'm gonna try and knock off one just so we can uh, 
you know, discover a bit more things. I know a lot of you guys told me to, I think it was sell rum and rice. Um, and once we get to our destination, we'll see if we can do that. If, if I remember, of course, I, I tend to forget a lot of things lately. Okay. I've been playing so much Assassin's Creed games that I feel like this is like a part of me right now. We have been playing a lot of AC games. Look at this, how beautiful. We just unlocked a fast travel. Nice. So I'm going to go. I think there's a, uh, as a matter of fact, there's a chest over there. And the good thing about this is that we can go on one of these little boats and just fast travel back to the ship. So it's not a problem. But I'm pretty sure I saw. What is this? Can we interact with this? No. I'm pretty sure I saw a chest back here. Yep. There it is. Oh, wow. 175 not too bad just a random dead pirate there nobody's picked up the bones or done anything with him he's just there he's been chilling for god knows how long maybe decades centuries even who knows right yeah probably not centuries but uh i think there was another chest on this side Hold up, hold up. Yep, here it is. I'm gonna grab this one. Is it inside? Nope, it's right here. Perfect. 260. Okay, so I think that's fair. I think that's fair enough. We're gonna go back to the ship and uh, get down to business. So let's see, what do we have here? Sail to the sea, leave this location. You know what they say? Pirates got to do what a pirate's got to do. Actually, nobody says that. It's just just me. <laughs> Let me tell you, man. Collecting the tunes is, is pretty cool. Because some of these tunes are absolutely fantastic. I don't know how far we have to go, but... Hopefully, we don't come across any crazy ships. Just going to... Kind of scope out the area, make sure we're in the clear. Me and my boys. Is that an island right there? No, that's just a floating. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Listen, I know this is probably not part of what you guys wanted, but you know, let's 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 go ahead and get off in this little island real quick. We'll be back, not a problem. No, actually, I'm gonna head to the front. Oh god, this is a mess. Let me just pick up this chest here. Feels like I've been here before. A lot of these islands are going to look similar. So I'm wondering, what what if you're... Let's say right now, I'm kind of just looting this island. Can a ship come and attack us? Like, attack our ship while I'm not in it? If that's the case, that's pretty crazy. Because at the moment, I feel like we do have a better chance at probably, <laughs> probably fighting with our sword versus with our ship. All right, we got some sugar. That's good. We can sell some sugar and rum. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Powerpuff Girls. There's something about the way the water looks in this game that is really, really refreshing. It makes you want to explore, you know? Oh, what was that? Okay, let's get out of here. Before we get attacked, let's, let's get out of here. Now we will set sail. What is that? Oh, it's a level one gunboat. I mean, if you guys recall, we did a couple of upgrades to our ship. Maybe, maybe we should use some of these upgrades. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can. Maybe we should destroy this. Mordar. You can now fire the Mordar at long range. Hold LB to activate the Mordar aiming uh, mode. And <laughs> use, okay. Holy crap. Whoa. Yo, that is awesome. 
considering that we've been playing AC so much and it, you know it's very cool in Tropical. I actually I, I watched the movie and I've this is a movie that I've been eyeing for a long time. And I watched the movie called The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio when he was like 27 years old or something. Really young. He looks like he was 15, but you know, he was in his mid-20s, I believe. It's called The Beach. Do yourself a favor. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It starts off a little weird, but then it ends up it doesn't really yeah i guess it does start off a little weird but it is such an insane movie he's like a backpacker he's you know on his own and he's in search of this like lost you know mythical island and he ends up finding it uh with a couple of friends that he befriends along the way and it, it, it gets absolutely incredible it is i forgot the name of the beach but that beach was actually made famous by that movie and you know it got ruined nowadays it's ruined by tourists and stuff so they've actually closed it down as of 2017 to tourists or so i read um but uh watch the movie it's called the beach if you have a chance tonight or whenever this weekend watch the beach and tweet me tweet me if you watched it and if you liked it or if you've seen it 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 is dude you guys are gonna love it if you like movies that have to do with beaches and you know oceans i love that i, I love those types of movies like couples retreat i love that movie because of the scenery you know just watch the movie okay you're, you're not gonna regret it it's a pretty good movie so what do you do with your share of the gold we take from governor torres return to africa prince among men i cannot return to a place i've never been i was born in trinidad a slave from my first breath yeah. but wouldn't you feel i don't know more welcome there as you might feel more welcome in Paris. fair point <laughs> with this skin and this voice where can i go in the world and feel at ease this country here is my best chance this country called jackdaw where i know the names of all citizens and they know mine <laughs> we work together not always out of love but to keep our country afloat i understand thee let's take her then the citizens of Jackdaw. Destroy the fort's defenses. What? Hold on, there's a damn ship over there too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, there comes the ship. There comes the ship. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, one more. Come on. Okay, brace, 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 brace. Okay, so we got one of the towers, right? All right, you guys are fucking annoying, dude. Want some of this? Okay, we're gonna have to take out this. Oh, uh, we don't have any more mortars or what the hell's going on? Oh man, oh man. Nobody told me. Nobody prepared me for this today, okay? Well, except you guys. You told me you need to upgrade the ship. And well, here we go. Here we have it. The perfect example. Well, I should have upgraded. Well, I have been upgrading my ship, so it's not like I haven't been listening, you know? Come on, one more. One more shot, baby. Come on. Let's go. Nice. Oh, so we still haven't destroyed the other one. Oh, we did. Destroy the fort's defenses. Um, reach. Okay, how do... 
I will say, we're, we're not doing half bad, okay? Could we probably be doing better, maybe? But, but not half bad at all. It's gonna ram us. But I don't care. There she goes. She's sinking. Yeah, she's sinking. There she goes. Nice. All right, so now that we're done with that ship, we can probably head back to the fortress. Well, it's safe to say it's been uh, an awfully adventurous start to this episode. So I'm assuming this is how it works for every single other fortress. Once you destroy, you can kind of go in and just loot it all. Sounds good. Sounds good. I like it. I like it a lot. Off we go. Leader goes first, of course. So, can we later on fast travel to this fort once we, uh, once we're done uh, dealing our business here? That is the question. Hmm. We're about to find out. Oh, kill the fort's officers, destroy the fort's defenses. I'd got word you might be here. I know your face, pirate. But your name was Borrow the last time we spoke. Ah, yes, I recall. Mr. Duncan Walpole. I miss that one. So, what's a Templar Grand Master doing so far from his Castillo? I'd rather not say. And I'd rather not cut your lips off and feed them to you. Two years ago, we offered a reward for the sage's recapture. Today, someone claims to have found him. This gold is his ransom. Who found him? A slaver by the name of Lawrence Prince. He lives in Kingston. We like this story, Torres. And we want to help you finish it. But we're going to do it our way. Using you and your gold. Wow. I like where this is going. I like where this is going. God. So optional objectives. I think we got both of them actually. Yep. Forts. No, I'm going to rate this. Nah, never mind. I was going to rate it, but I don't want the game to take me out of the game and put me online or something crazy like that. Oh, so once you conquer a fortress, it's like doing a sink point. Oh, you got a big chunk and every chunk has got a fort. Well, that's interesting. And off to Kingston. Two upgrades available for the cap at uh, the captain's cabin. <laughs> Yo, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, are we missing anything here? Um, eh, we've got one chest. Harbor master. We can probably do that inside the actual ship, anyways. Let's see. Something I can help you with? Yeah, maybe possibly. Hmm. Actually, hold on. We can sell oh wow look at this so all the sugar should we sell all the sugar or can all the rum sure we've got metal well i don't know if i want to sell that because we might need to use hold on let me just go inside the captain's cabin Okay. The jack draw. Okay, so the whole armor. I feel like we need. What is that? Is that metal? I don't know what that is. That red one. That icon. I'm not too familiar with it. Round shot strength. That might be good as well. 
We do need some more armor, though. I'm not going to lie. We, we definitely need more armor. Chain shot strength. I want to do this one. I feel like this one gets used so much. And this is uh, the uh, 13 uh, broadside cannons with a medium mount. Okay. Yeah, we're going to confirm this. New item purchased. Heavy shot. Cool. We'll do that. And off we go. So the heavy shot. Heavy shots do big damage to your enemies, but only at close range. So look at the side and... Oh, so that's the heavy shot. So we have arrived at Kingston. Pretty cool. Okay. So let's see, what do we got here? This is a pretty nice little island, huh? I mean, everybody knows about Kingston, but it looks really, really nice. Look at that ship over there. Fuck. Every time I see some of these ships, it's like, bro, ours looks so bad. <laughs> Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Ken, will you run this scheme alone at the risk of losing the faith of your crew? It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward, what the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the sage. Can you hold off till he appears? Oh, Aye, and Prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. I'll stay in my blade for a time, but not long. All right, so we gotta till Prince and Torres. I'm gonna be careful here. We might have to hire a couple of people. Hold on, where's my uh you. Shut up. How long has it been since our last meeting? Oh god. A year? Near eighteen months. You first described this Robert fellow to me in November of 1715. Oh my god. I probably shouldn't be coming here. <laughs> just just saying. <laughs> yeah, no. Not a good idea. Ah, see. Much has changed in that short time here. None call me governor, for instance, for I quit that post last year. Oh, I was not aware. Oh, God. I like that you can highlight the targets now, though. Really, really useful. So many churches in Christian. the English had last taken to converting those slaves to the Christian faith. Ah! Convert them? Fuck no, Torres. There's none here so foolish as that. Foolish? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it yet? We are nearly there. Oh god. Oh what? Fuck, there's so many of them. Stand your ground, slave, and face corporal punishment like a man. Why not let the one now? Will you have denied me that right for 13 years? I find your bearing of all the 
I believe of thinking, feeling men deserve respect and opportunity. Ah, oh, you Spaniards. Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and softened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Truly, talent and intelligence should lead. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money to see. But in the long term, it will render us the of our own success. Ah, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. Okay, hold on. Get away. Yeah, yeah, you got it. There's like guards everywhere, so it's actually pretty damn hard to Oh, I have no more darts. <gasps> I just realized that. Okay, so let's swap over to the Berserker darts just in case. For Ooh. I have no wish to waste my day chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate their strength. As friends, huh? Other stories about you, Trusha. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family, a long line of politicians. Nice. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough years. Oh God! Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama, 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if a touch less permanent. Oh my goodness, bro. Why are there so many people here? <laughs> I'm gonna stick to the border. You say you came alone, Paris? Not alone, but certainly without colors. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Oh my god. No. Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed! Deal with this! Oh, shit. Old man knew all along, huh? Y'all want a piece of me? <laughs> My kill, Kenway. For a bad horse. Y'all want a piece of me? Oh, hold on, hold on. You gotta let me reload, though. Oh. You gotta let, you gotta let me reload. Go, 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 go. Nice. 
Nice. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that, but... Uh, why can't we just not assassinate him? I was right behind him. Oh, wow. You know what? Had enough of your shit. Oh, man. No. Oh, my God. You're going to mess everything up. Fuck. Not this time, Kenway. Oh, my on, God. Man. We can work this together. You have your chance. Stay your blade, kid. Wait! Jim, stop! No, 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 no. What happened? Why are these guys here? <laughs> Damn you, old scratch. Keep your natty hands off me. I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves. And here I find not one, but two of my targets, and you robbed me of both. Patience, man. You have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prince. Got that? All right, well, that was uneventful. So much uh, trailing for nothing, really. Okay, so what do we got here? Let's see. This might just be the last, uh... It's weird because this game, I don't know if it's probably due to the sailing, but this game, the sequences are... Like, you have, like, just two two memories in a sequence, or three at most, and then... The videos end up really long regardless, or at least the recording. I think it's definitely got to do with the sailing. It takes a really, really long time to get from one point to the next. Which is not necessarily bad, it just depends how you look at it, really. Can I go up there? Oh, so we're going up there. Very nice. All right, kid. Just give me a sec, okay? Let me sync up first. You should be awfully familiar with this. You know, we suddenly just look at the whole horizon, then we know where everything is at. You should be definitely familiar with this. So don't look at me weird or anything like that, okay? Okay. Un unmanned. Wouldn't you prefer meeting in a pub? I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. There's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. <laughs> Ready? Your name's not James, is it? Not most days. Come on. Well, there it is. <laughs> We're just talking about that. Plot twist. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, sabotage the bell towers. Wow. If you see Prince before I do, kill him and there'll be a bit of coin in it for you. Bro. All right. Kind of cute though, not gonna lie. How is it you're a woman? Christ, Edward. Is that something that needs explaining? Now I'm here to do a job. I'll let you be amused later. Okay, so this should be relatively simple. 
Perfect. Jesus, is he all right? Slipped away from what I heard. Prince ain't too happy neither. Nice. <laughs> okay. Nice. He literally came to me. I mean, okay. <laughs> this is nerve wracking, dude. Fucking hell. Okay. So he's going to wake up his buddy. You there. Angel raise the alarm. Shut up. Okay, so I'm going to wait for this guy to come over here. Come on. There we go. We have to take all of them out first. I mean, there's No, no. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Holy crap, that was so close. I got a little cookie for you. Come here. Excellent. How about them apples? Excellent. Okay, this bell is actually surrounded by four guards. So. Fuck. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I don't have any more sleeping darts. I do not. good you know what I'm gonna go around oh these guys are everywhere I gotta get rid of that fucking sniper though Or maybe not. Perfect. All right. Meet James Kidd. Right, so now I can get rid of the sniper. I'm going to go up the ladder here. <clears throat> and I'm just going to be honest, man. You've given me a little bit too much trouble lately. You know that? So now you're dead. All right. So we're going to go this way. That was fun. A little time consuming, you gotta take your time with it, but <laughs> that was pretty fun. Hold! Stand your ground! Please! I've been shot! I need aid! Christ, Thompson, look at her! She's hurt! Dreadfully, sir! I'm poorly! All right! I'm faint! Take an arm, lass! Oh, I feel bad for them. They're trying to they're trying to help her. <laughs> Holy fuck. Holy shit. She is vicious. You're gonna tell me those guards up there didn't see anything? And these guys are damn blind. Boy, Arnold, Mr. Prince says to keep your eyes clean tonight. There's some men if I spent on the I'll spread the word. You just left them there. Holy cow. Oh, that's a big guy. We got to be careful with that guy. Can we assassinate him? Of course. 
We are an assassin, after all. So we're probably gonna have to go up through the window here. <gasps> okay, hold on. So I gotta wait for this guy to go the other way so I can get this guy through the window. But if I get him through the window, they're gonna spot him. I don't know, man. I don't know if I like this. You know what? Let's sync up. So there's a guard right there. And then... There's the other guy here to the right of us. That we can immediately kill. Is this guy? We've got another sniper up there. Go ahead and take him out. Oh shit. Okay, as soon as he looks away, we're good. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> this guy's fucking blind. So he's not inside the house. That, that's that's already pretty much determined. That's probably him over there. Hmm. Could that be him? Yep, there he is. Freaking knew it. Let's see. We cannot go downstairs through here. Perfect. Hold mine. You there. Hold. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There he is, little son of a bitch. Nice. Well, 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 sir, you are dead. <laughs> Why hang over me like a leering crow to see an old man suffer? You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. Heads up, Kenway! I found your man! I remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. Well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs> Wow, are you kidding me? Robots!
what if I would have uh, sabotaged the uh, the bell? Would that have still worked? <laughs> I thought about it, but. You don't got shit. I am an assassin, a pirate assassin. And we're in the clear now, it seems. Or not. We were actually in the clear before, but. Uh, fucking hell, what is this? Okay, good. So now I can. Now we've escaped the area, the restricted area. Nah, come on. No oh, shit, kid. I need your help. Dirty. Oh yeah. Gotta love the bombs. A perfect diversion. Or shall I say distraction? Okay, why hide when you can just assassinate, right? Lost your man again, did you? I Robert is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So, what's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. And them I call friends. Wow, there it is. But not a word of it to How anyone. How is it that... Or I'll unman you as well. We were just talking about this and this happens. I swear. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Really the intro of this video was just us talking about this because we spoke about her on the last episode. Oh my god. That is crazy. I I probably see into the future and I have no idea that I can, you know. That was just absolutely bunkers. Pretty cool. It seems like that was the last, in fact, the last mission or the last uh, memory within this sequence. So I think we'll end it here. We've got a nice, beautiful view of our beloved ship. And what a great episode. What a, what a, what a plot twist, right? I feel like maybe if I wouldn't have researched or looked at the comments from you guys, if James Kidd in real life was male or female, because a lot of these characters are characters that really existed. You know, excluding the, the protagonist, which is the guy you play with, in this case, Edward Kenway. But some of the uh, supporting actors or supporting characters, better yet, are in fact real characters, real people that existed. So that's what I searched. I searched, who is James Kidd? And it said that James Kidd was... I didn't search it with uh, as far as like in terms of Assassin's Creed 4, but I didn't look too much into it just in case. But I did hear that James Kidd was in fact Mary Reed, and well, it, it just happened at the end of this episode, which is crazy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. As always, if you'd like to see more, drop it a like, and I'll catch you guys later.